has the power of really touching your heart. Feel better about your bodies? <coughs> Make more money? Yeah. Have more energy? Yeah. Yeah. Have more aliveness? Yeah. Have more confidence? Yeah. yeah. And so I'm going to share with you two things. And guess what? They're free. <laughs> One is in your house, and two is inside of you. So there's this saying, and this saying that we all know. Don't judge a book by its cover, right? One of these books, if I gave it to you, you are the value of priceless. Yeah, don't take it. The other book, it's going to cost you over a million dollars. Which one do you choose? <laughs> Most of us would say the priceless one, right? So inside is blank. There is nothing inside these pages. You get to write what's in there. Words like, I'm beautiful. I am enough. I'm a rock star. I touch people. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> right? Priceless. Most of you have probably built in this book. Right? But you didn't know what was in it. You didn't know the value of it before you were given it. So this book is going to cost you over a million dollars. You want it? <laughs> <laughs> Still blank. Still nothing written in it, and it's up to you. But guess what we write in this book? I am not enough. I'm too fat. I'm too ugly. I need to lose five pounds, I'm bald, I'm a man, I'm a woman, I need to be taller, I'm not thin enough, I'm not skinny enough. Whatever you want in the big beauty book, it's going to cost you over a million dollars. And every day, we tell ourselves a story. Most of us are telling ourselves a story of not enough. And the problem is, it's in the tiny little ways that we don't even know. So I said we're going to find out the two things. One, it's in your house. You want to change it? Yeah. Two, it's inside of you. So I'm going to tell my story, a short version of it. 15 years ago, I was reading the pages of the book that cost me over a million dollars. The pages of the book said, not enough, not skinny enough, not pretty enough, not thin enough. And you may look at me now and think that I was reading the beauty book. Nope. I was starving myself to death. And at 96 pounds, I woke up in a hospital bed with IVs and machine hooked up to me, dying. I was so convinced I was a fat girl. So convinced I wasn't good enough. <clears throat> and you know what the funniest slash worst part about waking up in a hospital bed at 96 pounds practically dying? <clears throat> Is I still thought I was fat and ugly. It did not fix what was on the inside. No external amount of anything got me to the priceless. So no matter what your story is right now, you have a blank book in front of you. And you get to write it. So if you want two ways to fix it immediately, feel thinner, prettier, younger, skinnier, have more money, have more self-confidence, the two things, one is the mirror in your house. Yeah. When you look at the mirror in your house, what are you telling yourself? What's in your book? Are you hiding?
writing it? Do you even know the stories you're telling yourself about the size of your thighs, the shape of your weight, your height, whatever it is, your beauty? What messaging are you sending to yourself in the mirror every day? You want to start to think about it because what happens is most of us spend four to eight hours a day judging the crap out of ourselves and we don't even know it. So my invitation to you is next time you want to write the book of it's going to cost you over a million dollars, here's the tool. Stop it. We've been told we have choice with everything. We have choice with our judgments. When you are in the monkey mind of I am not enough, that monkey mind will cost you over a million dollars. The problems have been there. I know the story, and it doesn't have a very good ending. But the other one, the priceless book, it has a really good ending. <coughs> So if you would like more on how to stop it, <laughs> I have cards for you that you are welcome to come take. I can pass them around, but thank you so much for your time. Thank you.